Most charts have legends, and more often than not, legends are likely to appear on the right side of a chart. Now, on the chart on this worksheet called Year Data, it's below. That's not uncommon either. We can easily control the placement of these. We can move them around manually, and we can add color, put them in frames, and so on. A quick start might be clicking the chart, clicking the plus button to the right of a chart, down to legend. We see some choices if we click the arrow to the right. Put the legend on top, on the left side, on the bottom. And there are more options available too. We can even put it in the top right, although I rarely see it being used here. That's a big space waster. But we can easily control the placement here. And certainly another way to get here too is by way of on the design tab, that second button from the left, quick layout. We see some choices here. Some of these place the legend on top. Sometimes you see them on the lower left along with the data table. We see some other choices. Here's a legend on the right here without a box. Doesn't look so good. And some other choices. So we can certainly get to any of these pretty quickly and easily. And we also have the ability to simply click the legend and drag its box border around. Put it over here, possibly. When you do that, notice that it doesn't change the size of the plot area. So you might want to make the plot area larger that way. And if you do want this to be in a box, you can certainly click the legend again. And then by selecting the box, going to the Format tab in the ribbon, and then considering some of the shape styles, and then possibly some of the effects as well. And when this overlaps the chart, sometimes you're just guessing, as I'm about to do here. But let's say maybe this will look pretty good. I'll try this one. And if I'm really concerned about the appearance of that, maybe I'll just close the dialog box to the right, move this over, and explore some more of those choices there. That wasn't so good since one of the actual choices there, one of the series uses that same orange color. So maybe the green will work a little bit better. Remember, select the legend first before going there to make some of those choices. So with the legend selected, we can explore some of these choices here. When you resize the legend, and sometimes you'll want to do this, certainly not necessary here, but we might want to make it wider, we see how the text automatically wraps around to accommodate this. And if we think the font isn't big enough, we can jump over to the Home tab. Currently, it's a 9-point font there. Maybe I'll make it be 12-point. And along the way, we might choose bold, italic, and font color change, and so on and so on. All the different formatting things we might want to consider. So a legend is easily made available. We can move it around, we can resize it, we can add formatting features, and we can place it in different parts of the screen. Remember, a quick way to get there is by way of the design tab and a quick layout choice, possibly this way. Some of the choices appear this way. Or simply by clicking the plus button to the right and pursuing some of the options available there under legend with the arrow and the more options choice in the subsequent dialog box with choices here. Legend is important in many charts. It helps explain the colors of the bars and colors of the columns and the lines, a viable feature and easy to adjust in Excel.